Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a block like this step by step. I'm also going to show you how to use some, some useful plugins and how to install them. This is a pretty simple theme but looks good. Everything else is free except you have to buy your domain name and hosting service. So first of all you need to go to fameteams.com Click Teams Then scroll down to Boston. Click download free. Then you need to go to hostgator.com. Because you need hosting service for your website. Then click get started now. Now you have three options. Hustling plan, baby plan, business plan. Hustling plan is for single domain only. I can give you a discount that you get, get this hustling plan with one cent for one month. You only have to buy your domain name as well. Then baby plan and business plan are for unlimited domains. With business plan you get also private SSL and, and, and IP. Private SSL means this, uh, this as you can HTTPS is private SSL so it's secured. I prefer you to choose between baby plan or business plan because you never know if you want to make more websites. So if you choose Hassan plan, you can do it. But with these plans, you can do add more more websites. So click sign up now. So I prefer you to use one with one month because you never know if you want to change your hosting service or if you want to close your site down. So it's better to pay every month. Then your username and security pin. Then your billing info and you can pay with PayPal or credit card. You can take this if you want to protect your site from hackers, but you can also protect your site with some free plugins as well. Your professional email if you want, and backup. You can also backup your website with free plugin as well. So ne now let's look at the price. It's almost like 20, $24, but if you, if you type with one cent it drops to thirteen dollars so you get you get this your, your domain with thirteen dollars and then with one cent so this is a hustling plan for one domain only then if you want to use baby plan you can use code up up to 60 of click validate so
so you will receive your domain with five dollars and then you receive twenty dollar discount for your plan so and you also sponsor my job if you use my code so thank you for that then go check out now and you will receive your login details and your password then you need to go to your website forward pass forward pass C panel Then you need to go to uh, WordPress one click installation. Then choose your domain. Click next. Then block title. Install now. Then copy your password. Then you need to go to your domain for us slash VP admin. Then you need to go to plugins. Scroll down a bit. You can see it. And then tick this. It takes all. And then deactivate. Now tick it again. And Delete. Then you uh, press visit site here. You can see it, its default theme. Go back to your dashboard. So you can, when you click this the animal block, you then you can go to your website or back to your dashboard so I have to turn in my block you have something else of course okay then you need to install your team so appearance teams add new upload team and browse install now and activate now let's look it looks a little bit different now then we need to import demo in so our appearance Boston team one click demo import and download this one then you need to go to plugins, add new, upload plugin.
an activate plugin. It giving you, it's giving you an error that doesn't matter because it will work later. Press again activate plugin. Now go to uh, appearance Boston team. And then install recommended plugins. Okay. I think I already have it. So if you, if it's giving you error, just try it again, again and again, and it will work for sure. Then click import. Imported. Now it looks like this a demo is in. So uh, this is a categories area up there. So you have your categories. Then this is first section here, future section. Then second section here, and third section is this categories right side this category section so what we're going to do right now we're going to remove those posts so posts all posts then take this title thing and to move to trash happy and all all will be moved to trash now we are going to make first section, but before that we are going to actually add categories. So what categories you you have, you need to add add them. So what's yeah? I have mammals and feces. and birds then you need to, go, need, need to go to posts add new and I'm going to make this future area so my first, first post is eagle so I'm going to use lorem ipsum which is just some random text as a content so then you need to add categories with needs I use birds and then tags you have to add future it. add and then image so I show you where you can get free image so pixabay.com Choose your picture. Then click free 
download download Then uh, you need to go to photo.com. You need to edit edit the picture a bit. The sides should be different. This takes a little bit time to work. So I have my random text here. Okay, now I open the picture I have. So open it. Then you need to resize it. So optimal size is 1500 and 1000. Then crop it a bit, press once aptly, then one tap and change. Then it's done, so quality normal, save the computer. Then upload files. Then add alt text. This is good for Google. Text and it's done. So it's very, very simple to this is very simple theme. So it's good, simple to add posts and so on. So now it's as you can see, it's there. And if I click it, I have text. So now I'm going to add 
dreimal so viel da rein. my pictures and I have to go to photo again You see it's not it's it's full three pictures but when I add more if, then it will move. So I will add one more. Post add new this second section post at me mouse so now you need to change your category Publish. 
ten. I go to take a look. Okay. Uh, now it's on the feeder section, so I I suppose to add it to second uh, second section, so I go to change it. So I go to posts. here and edit so it's because I added few to it that's why that's why it went so I take this away this, take this away and then click update and now when I, when I look it it goes down there so no, okay so every time you add something you have to add filtered if you add something here and if you don't take filtered off or don't add it at all so then I add another post post add new Okay, then we take a look. Now, as you can see, it's so few more posts, and then it's done with posts. So future limits publish. Okay, now it's done. So 
next what we're going to do is we're going to change this uh, menu so we go to appearance menus I'm going to remove all these except about and home don't remove them remove then go to categories and add your categories it's done and we're going to add contact me or contact us space later then right now you, you need to go to settings and permalinks and put post name and click set change now it, it changes your permalink here like let's say you have animal blocker will come dot and support last beer and it will be something like some weird numbers and so on without it so that's why I change it okay let's change about me page so you need to go you need to go to uh, pages about me so if you want to change this picture it's four sides so if you, you need to just add picture here so add name here and then this oh, text and you need to have full sides and center and insert it there now it's done we're gonna edit this text update then we going to edit widgets area so go to your dashboard so okay I'll show you what is widget area again this one this area is widget area so we can change this picture as well so you need to go to appearance widgets and you can remove everything here if you want I will remove uh, I will remove meta and now just use so just track it off and we're going to change this one up so we can change this picture it's here so and this text so we need to go to media then you see this picture it is it, it, this one so you see dimensions uh, are so you need to change dimension to same as this so you need to go to photo with your picture and open it what you're going to picture what you're going to use I 
I have already done this, but I show you. So resides, and there, there you can see resides. So it, it's very important you have same sides. So when you have done it, uh, I need, you need to I need to upload it. This one. So take this and this same size and then copy this URL. Then go back to appearance widgets and about me text about me and then paste it here carefully. Yeah. JPEG, Ctrl V, and then you can change this text. And save. Side and now it's changed. contact us page so you need to go to your dashboard appearance sorry plugins add new contact form 7 install Activate. Then go to settings. And copy this. Then go to edit. And go to mail. And you can change your email here if you want to. If you want to add something, another email. Then go to pages and add new. Contact me and paste it the code. Then go to appearance, menus, then you have your contact me page, add it to menu and save. Now we we'll take a look how it looks. Contact me. As you can see it's pretty it's okay but it's some maybe a little bit unclear so if you want want to make it more clear you need to change your background back background color a bit so you need to go to colors and take this more a little bit more gray not much but a little bit so then it will be more clear now save and publish then you can also change your team color by styling. So 
team options styling and then you can change it and save publish now it's it's pretty clear as you can see so so okay for some reason it didn't okay I went to demo I went to demo for some reason it should be there now as you can see it's blue then you need to go to posts and edit any posts go to screen options and tick discussion and comments if you want comments comments for your posts website is pretty much done then we need to go to uh, go to plugins plugins and new and you have actually now two options to you can have uh, word fence word fence this is security plugin or all in one security it's up to you you can choose I use Warfence but if you have uh, only one security you don't have to add, add uh, limit locking Locking, blocking what I saw you. Limit locking attempts, attempts, but with Warfence you have to install it separately. Oh. So I'm, I show you next what it is. Then you need to need to add your email here because if if every time you are logging in or someone is logging into your dashboard you will receive email so it's very good you immediately know if someone is hacking to your your wordpress site so this one activate so number of items five work out time ten minutes so every time, if it's over five, then it will lock up in ten minutes or ten minutes your site. Or or this IP, you can change your IP and then log in if you make this. If you, for some reason, it goes over five. So that's about security. Of course, there there are a lot of security plugins you can always add more. So then, if you want to monetize your site, you can use weak link. This is maybe the easiest way to monetize your sites. So I'll show you how how to do it. So 
settings big link now it's asking asking the wiki so you need to go to wikilink.com and register your account go to manage and install or press now as you can see it's already it's asking to download plugin you have already done it then I have a I have a my already here I have my my API keys, but I, I copied this one and then I show you how you, you can do it. So add campaign, then you just fill this, your domain name, type, block, category, it's whatever you have, and then platform WordPress, and press add campaign. So then you copy this API key and you add it here. It says it's saved. Now you can go to install, manage install. And you can test it here. So your domain and it says weekly CSF, so it's working. So now I show you how this weak link works. So you have some text here. Weak link automatically adds links to your text. So if you have some word, let's say this makaenas, this is a this is a word that weak link has some, some can add some affiliate here so affiliate links here it, it, it will be a link and when someone clicks it you get a commission or if someone buys it you get a commission sometimes it's only for for clicks sometimes only for they have to buy it but it's very very powerful when you get traffic into your site that's another thing how to get traffic into your site but actually one of the best way to add traffic to your site is to uh, optimize your sites to Google first page so you can you can go to, go to Fiverr and try the find Google first page and then take a look someone has good uh, feedback you can use it so then you can have some some traffic in, in four months you will have some traffic to your site and if you have monetized your web your blog you will get money with it there is another way to monetize your blog you can add some banners here and you can add some uh, ad, adsense google adsense you can add, add and some, something like that so but weak links maybe maybe it's more the easiest way to do it Okay, let's move on. Appearance. Sorry, plugins add new. And then Kiwi. Install now. Activate. Then you have it here. Then you can take 
of something if you want if you don't want and it's you know, for your boss and before content may be better you can change style as well so now it's it's done so you go to your posts so there it is so every time if someone w wants to share your posts just click they, they just click this one and it's done the next one plugins at me maybe super cuts this one automatic this piece up your side a bit it's done then Draft for the backup plugin. So now you can back up your site with this plugin. So, I'll show you how it works. It's pretty simple. So, settings, updraft backup. You need to only press backup now. You can uh, there there are a lot of plugins for pro Google Analytics, so you can use something else if you don't find this for some reason. So there it is, Google Analytics. Activate. So you can tra monitor your website with Google Analytics. That's pretty good settings and now you need to go to your go to your website go, go to your Google Analytics account and if you don't have it already you need to make it so I open my Google Analytics page then you need to go to when you have this you're on the dashboard you need to go to admin Tracking info, tracking code, and there it is. Cop 
copy it and then paste it there now save it and now you can test it go to, go to this clock real time overview and it shows zero but when you go to your website it should change to one overview Okay, now it shows, shows one, so you need to go down a bit. So it's working now. Then go to dashboard. One more plugin. It's for advanced users. You don't have to. You don't have to install it if you don't want. Pay for money, so so what this does basically you don't have to go to your C panel if you if you want to add something to your to your site. So it you can change from here. It's a little bit more easier to add, but you need to know you need to know what you are doing if you're adding or removing or something. So there it is. Okay, that's about it. So the website is now ready. And feel free to comment or. Or give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like or no doesn't like if you don't like okay but thank you for watching